Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a video that was requested by Drunken Shooter. Drunken Shooter had made a request saying, I'd like to know if the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set Pot fits on the Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. So I did that video. Also in that request, he had asked for the Olicamp XTS pot, if that would be used in this. The XTS on this is a, it's called the Accelerator Transfer System, put out by Olicamp. It's a pot that has one of those, the uh, interface on the bottom, I forget what you might call it, but it soaks up the heat, so the heat would come up through here, your flames through here, and out through the side. So I'm going to try that today. I just got another one of these. Figured I'd try a test. I've done a bunch of tests with this pot already. And sometime back I'll leave links down below. Now I'll give you the dimensions for this down below too. But this hole on the bottom where it goes in, this has a diameter of 2.91 inches or 73.9 millimeters. So the sutas will fit there like so, but I'm not sure that it's going to get enough air. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of an opening here, but I don't know. So I'm going to try this today. If this doesn't work, then I'll try it again using the cross piece stand. That definitely would work with it, but I don't know what kind of times you get. This doesn't really seem to work great with alcohol stoves. Propane burners and stuff, yeah, but alcohol, just a little bit slow. So let me get some water prepped, get some alcohol in here. Again, I'm going to use a primer pan, but let me get this stuff together, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I have two cups of water in here now, setting at 60 degrees. I put 30 milliliters of methanol in the burner and pulled one out to put into the primer pan, so it's still a total of uh, 30 milliliters. Let's light the primer pan, start the timer. Now, I'm not sure, like I said before, I'm not sure if this is enough room to give air into the jets of the alcohol stove. And then the point is you have to have the flames coming out through, or the heat at least, coming out through these little heat sinks that help drive the heat into the pot. That's supposed to be the idea. Instead of just letting all of the heat come out through the side, these fins suck it up and redirect it into the pot to make it heat up faster. That's what the XTS stands for. So, okay, I think you can see that the jets are trying to come out through. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work because if the jets are burning on the outside like this, it means it's not enough oxygen and it's waiting until it's outside the fins to light. Okay, the uh, primer pan is just about ready to go off. Still have flames coming through. I think you can see underneath there are jets. I can see flames through the, the fins, but not very big. It act, you know, they're all the way around, but not very big. So, let's see where it goes from here. We're now three minutes into the test. I didn't catch exactly when the primer pan went out, but uh, three minutes into the test, and the temperature was between 99 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I've had slower burners, but it's not exactly a speed demon. Like I said, from the other tests that I've done, I don't think alcohol is a really good candidate for this, but uh, let's see how long this takes to get to a boil. There we have 210, 211. Come on. Two twelve and fourteen oh three. And it's actually faster than what I thought it might do. 
Uh, I think you can see the flames are still really small. Uh, let's. Uh, so now I guess what we'll do is just wait and see how long it takes for a burnout. On the other test with the Stanley kit, it took 21 minutes. With this running this slow, it'll, it should run that that long and longer but let's see what it does okay the flames are going going gone at 2019 huh so that was surprising let me shut this off Okay, so in this test, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 14 minutes, 3 seconds. Using the Stanley kit, it came to a boil in 12 minutes, 22 seconds. So about a minute and a half, minute and a half or so longer on this, which I really thought it would take longer than that. But then it ran out in 20 minutes, 19 seconds versus excuse me 21 minutes 15 seconds so it ran out like a minute earlier with this I think that could have been in the beginning where the flames were coming out through the fins it might have eaten up a lot of alcohol there that wasn't being used to heat up the pot a um, couple of I think to be fair I should probably do this again using the cross stand that'll fit on there that way the flames have more space to get oxygen at one thing with this though I've been reading lately that people are saying this lid and the handles on this are supposed to be silicone but I've reading, been reading where a lot of people are saying that this has been melting down and attaching itself to the pot I never had that happen with the other one but I wonder if they've changed it is anybody else having any kind of problems with that uh, whoa. it's soft which silicone would be but it doesn't seem to be melting to the pot here I wonder if some people are sticking it on a wood fire or something and the flames are licking up the sides even silicone at that rate would burn so if you've been using this let me know what you think of the lids uh, so I hope that helps drunken shooter I will do another test using the cross stand I thank drunken shooter for his comments I thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.